Hey, what's up, guys? It's Theo from Fino Concepts, and this is the review of the Techno Bat. For a launch price of 99 Ghana CDs and a white color like this one, is it any good? Well, let's find out then. So the first thing would be the price. Well, this thing kicked off at 99 Ghana CDs, but unfortunately at this time with the dollar rate increasing and all of that, you should get it right around 150 and sometimes even 180 Ghana CDs in some cases. Inside the box, we have the user manual, which mine is not here because I obviously have opened up the box. <laughs> but inside, you get the earbuds already in the charging case, a micro USB charging cable, and a couple of ear tips, and that's about it. For the design, if you've ever come across the Apple AirPods, then you are going to see a lot of similarities with this one. It's more like Techno took a page of Apple's book. Well, almost every other company is doing the same. The earbuds themselves are made of plastic and are pretty small too, which I am a fan of. They fit quite neatly in my ears with no issues. Mind you, I went with the smallest ear tips just so I can enjoy using them comfortably. I wish there were extra small ear tips because some of my friends, especially the ladies, could not use it. The smallest ear tips were just too big for them. Hmm. Unfortunately for me, they only come in this white color, which scratches and gets dirty easily. The same thing with the charging case, all white and all plastic. The bottom of the case houses a micro USB charging port for juicing it up. It's also small and fits just right in my hands. Next off, let's talk about the features. It comes with touch sensitive sides on either of the earbuds. These areas also illuminate blue light for pairing and red when on low battery or charging. On that note, a single tap on the left side of the earbud will decrease the volume and on the right it will increase it. A double tap on either would pause, play, receive or end calls. A triple tap on the left earbud for previous song and same on the right for next song. Four taps will access your phone's assistance. I personally love the fact that you have to double tap to end calls because unfortunately for some um, earbuds that I've been using in the past, just a single tap will just end your call. And if for some reason it is accidentally falling out of your ears whilst you're on the phone call and you are trying to push it back in, it just ends up cutting your call, which I found quite annoying. So most of the time when I'm making calls, I have to just turn the Bluetooth off entirely. For the specifications, it comes with a 40 mAh built-in battery, which lasted a little over 3 hours during my testing. But if you have the 300 mAh charging case with you, you can juice it up a bit more during longer trips. Charging the earbud is as simple as aligning them in the charging case. The Techno earbuds also comes with Bluetooth version 5, which I must admit is the fastest and smoothest connectivity I've ever experienced on a non-Apple device. If you have a Techno phone, just bring these earbuds close to it, open it up and click pair on your Techno phone. It's that simple. For the rest of us, we will have to do the traditional thing. That is, go into the Bluetooth settings and pair from there. And just like every other Bluetooth device, you get to see the battery life right from the settings app. I also noticed that when you open up the case in about a 20 degree angle, you would notice the light switch from charging to instant pairing, that is from red to blue. The cool thing about pairing is that you just have to do this once. Afterwards, if this is the last Bluetooth device you connected to your phone, all you have to do is just open it up and the pairing is already initiated. So by the time you even put them in your ears, it is already connected to your phone. Now let's talk about the overall sound and mic quality. For the sound, they sound good enough for the price. They aren't that bass heavy to me as they claim, but it was just enough. It was when I had them fully flashed in my ears, that was when I got the full immersive experience. I could hear the bass much louder that way. The only problem with this is it is deep in your ears and anytime you try to use the touch sensitive gestures, you end up getting that tad sound in your ears, which was a bit of uncomfortable to me. Now for the microphone here is how they sound. All right, this is the sound quality of the Techno but I personally feel it sounds amazing if you want to use it for phone calls or video calls for that matter, or any form of mobile vlogging as I am doing right now, then you can definitely check this out. But I still want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. How does it sound like? So for the price, would I recommend it? Well, yes and no. Let me explain. 
I know this is a budget device, no doubt about it. But with that, we don't get active noise cancellation. The sound is a bit on the low bass tune and it comes in a single color. But with all those negative, you get enough battery life touch sensitive controls and gestures, and an impressive sounding microphone for video recording and calls. So I believe it's worth weighing these pros and cons to see if it best fits you. I personally love black and it's for that reason that I've been using the Redmi Dot 2 which I do mention a lot in my videos. You can check more up here or down in the description below. It is reasonably placed around the same price as the Techno. So you, you know what, just check out that review and see which one will best suit you. For me, I'll go with the black, but if white is also your color, then you can definitely check out the white as well. So basically that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and other channels which I have them linked below. And as always, don't forget to share with your family and friends. This is Theo from Final Concepts. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.